Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this lovely little crate into something spectacular. I was practicing um, the arrangement but it's not going to look like this. Um, I have some closed white roses, some open white roses and some picks, glitter picks from Pound Stretcher. I have some leftover foam roses from the flower box that I did. The crate is from uh, Poundland, the foam was a pound from the range, and what else is in there, what else is in there? We have some more Pound Stretcher stuff, some Poundland ribbon, another Pound Stretcher item, which is this beautiful little robin pick, and we've got some snow drape, which is pound fifty. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use any gems yet, I was just practicing here on the side, let me just take that off, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm gonna get started with filling the inside with some drape and um, yeah, you'll see the method to my madness once I've finished. <laughs> Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is fill the crate with the foam and the snow, just so the foam doesn't show through, because it is, it's brown, it's brown. But um, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make this look really pretty. Attempt, you, you hear my words, attempt. I'm trying not to break the um, the crate either because it's not exactly okay. It's going in. It's going in. Oh, I'm gonna have to stand up. Oh dear, that hasn't worked the way I wanted it to because this is all falling down down the side here. We can just make this work. We can tuck the snow down here. That's worked well enough for me. Okay, so there you go. It's a little bit messy. A little bit messy. Okay, it's a lot messy. But okay, this is a first attempt. I didn't even, I didn't practice this part. So there you have it. It's filled with snow. <laughs> Okay. There's going to be a ribbon around that. Let's let's uh, pretend there's. Oh what? What is that? Oh my god. Uh. Uh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Look at the state of my table. Look. Look at this. What is this? Look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to start um, taking off all the flowers with the pliers. I'm not going to let you watch because that is the most boring thing probably ever for you. Literally, this is all I'm going to do. That's it. So, yeah, I'll come back to you when I've finished. Okay, guys, so we've got a bunch of flowers and I'm going to start sticking them in and trying to make this look pretty. Um, bear with me. I'm not, a, I'm not a florist, but I will try and make it look as pretty as possible. I promise, I promise you. So I'm going to go in with the f thicker flowers first. Um, I'm trying to aim those the right way.
I've just had an idea, guys. Um, now the picks are quite short, but I might actually tie them to these ones with some garden wire and to make them a bit taller. So I'm going to get the garden wire now. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, oh, take off the labels first. And I'm just going to wrap, I'm not even going to take off the foliage because we need a bit of green in there, but I'm going to wrap the bottom of the stem to the other pick and then, yeah, and then cut it. It will look fine, I promise. And there you have it, a taller pick. Let's see if it works now though. Let's stick that here. It's a bit bent. <laughs> they were only 69p. But yeah, that's, you know, we're going to try and make it look good. We're going to try and make it look good. Let's, let's keep going. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just add the ribbon to the front. I don't know whether to double this over or not. Hmm. You could actually double it and go round twice. Let me see. And then I can use another one to make an actual, an actual ribbon. Try not to use any glue in this one, which is why I haven't got any out. I'm trying to make this simple and easy. Okay, so that's what it looks like. What do you guys think? Should I add a bow? So yeah, there you have it. Um, a very quick, very easy. Uh, Christmassy DIY. It's like a, you could use it as a table centerpiece. I do think it's really cute. I'm still, I'm in an R in whether to put Diamantes up the side or not, or along the front. But I'm thinking I want to keep this pretty simple for you. Um, but yeah, I actually quite like it, especially this little dude in the front. Yeah. Trial and error, trial and error. You can always take some, you know, um, sprigs what they called these things and you could probably add some of those to it i don't know <gasps> oh guys i've got an idea why did i do this I 
I didn't need snow. I didn't need the snow. Look, look how easy this bit is. <laughs> I don't think that's going to go in actually because of the uh, the foam. Right, let's turn it around and do the other side as well. What a great idea, huh? Great idea. I'm not sure if it's a great idea. You let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Just trying to make it look a bit more Christmassy. I need your love. What songs you all listen to at the moment? Got so many songs in my head. There we go. Oh my goodness, that looks so much better. It looks like Christmas is pouring out of that. I love it now! Yay! I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, all I'm doing now, guys, is just putting these on to make it look uh i don't know christmasy or to me i'm literally stuffing them in i'm not even gluing them <laughs> you know it's just it's for video purposes this is what it will look like if you were to spend time making it look good and not being a botch job artist like time for tea right let's tidy up a bit and i will show you the finished product Okay, if you just ignore all the Halloween in the background, you'll have a lovely Christmas table centerpiece. Okay, what I did is I just added this clip onto the wood at the front, just to make it look a bit more uh, OTT and a bit extra, because you know me. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is, that, is, that is it. That is all I did. It literally was a botch job DIY, but I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Sorry, my phone's dropped. Um, but yeah, I didn't tie the glue the ribbon. It's just uh, hooked on with a bit of um, wire. So I'm just going to do the bottom bit there. And yeah, that was a no mess. Well, there was plenty of mess. Um, and no glue DIY. I didn't use any glue. And I'm actually really pleased with it. These you could actually glue onto um, skewers and stick them in as well to add a little bit more glam and um, you could put glitter on them or use the white frosted ones but I absolutely love how it turned out even though it was a bit of a crazy a crazy one and it was just like a you know ideas flying through my head and I just I've been wanting to use this a uh, little crate for a, a long time but at least with no glue you can just take everything off and you can use it for something else maybe Easter um, Halloween you could put some stuff in but yeah that's my Christmas one my little table centerpiece and I love it and it looks good from the back as well so you could have it either way without the robin or with the robin and he's a little cutie so thanks guys for watching please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already and hit the notification bell if you want notifications for when I upload my new videos. So guys, take care. Have a blessed day. I love you all. And um, we'll speak soon.